Hey guys, and thank you for coming to my channel. My name's Adonis, and welcome. How are you guys today? Are you doing good? Good, good, good. Um, I'm doing wonderful. As you can see from the title of the video, probably you can tell that this is my Q&A video. Within the last couple of videos, I've been asking you guys to submit your questions. Um, and quite a few of you guys submitted some questions, so hopefully I can get to all of them without having to like <laughs> be on here for 45 minutes. Make sure that you're liking videos like this if you like Q&As. Give the video a thumbs up, as well as subscribing to my channel. That's free as well. It's down below, or depending on where you're viewing this. Um, and make sure you guys are following my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. Um, but I think that is it, so we'll just get directly into the video. The first question says, um, do I rehearse my videos? You seem so natural on camera, but sometimes it's like your mess ups make me think you are all natural. I'm so confused. Um, either way, you look great. Thank you. I do not rehearse my videos. Um, I literally just come on come on here and talk. If I mess up, then I edit it out, but um, I don't rehearse my videos. What I do, though, is if I have content that I want to talk about, I make sure to have my thoughts in order. Um, in some, like, I write, might write down my thoughts or something, but I don't rehearse. The next question says, how is your life? My life is amazing. If you follow me on Twitter, you can tell that my life is kind of all over the place, and I like to kind of, I don't complain a lot in real life, so when I go to social media, I'm just like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, but I do it in a funny way. Um, but life is great. Um, school is going great. You, I mean, things are going, well, great is relative, but things are going, I mean, pretty well. Um, I don't have any complaints. I mean, I can complain, but I'm not going to. But, I mean, life is good right now. The next question asks, when did I get into fashion, age-wise or, like, time in your life? Um, I want to say I got into fashion, like, heavy. And I want to, like, put a disclaimer. I'm not into, I love fashion. So I love, like, high fashion. I love all fashion. But I'm not really into, like, the high fashion portion of it. I know a lot of people are into like designers and, and label names. I'm not really into that. I'm more of like a everyday fashion, like street fashion, not street fashion, but common fashion I'm more into. Basic, like, I don't know, everyday, relatable, achievable fashion. But it was more of like my freshman, sophomore year in high school because I didn't play a sport. Um, and I, I don't know, I needed something to, that kind of interests me and that can make me different and kind of set me apart. And that's what fashion was for me. So it was kind of like, Freshman year to sophomore year um, in high school, I really got into kind of fashion and things like that. But I've always really loved clothes, if that makes sense. The next question says, how would you describe your style? Um, I would say I'm really just kind of everyday basic chic, I guess. Um, I'm really just minimalist. I like basic colors. You say maybe like basic minimalist chic. I don't know. Um, the next question says, what do you edit with and what camera do you use? Um, I edit, and I will leave a link to, like, my YouTube, secret to YouTube or something video that I posted down in the description below. Um, but I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos, and I, um, record with the Canon Rebel T3i. The next question says, how do you deal with those haters? P.S. Love you. Um, love you too. Um... I think recently I've been getting a lot of, not hate, but a lot of like people commenting just recently because as your channel grows, you get more exposure, exposure, and I'm not a huge channel, don't misconstrue that, but as the channel grows and more people watch, I do get, you know, some comments, and I, um, I like to live above, but sometimes you just have to like clap back at people, um, but I know myself, and I know who I am, and I know what I'm doing, and I know... Um, I can handle myself, and I'm really good with words, so I don't really have haters, but for the naysayers and people who have, like, negative comments and things like that, um, I will clap back and say something, um, or if it's just stupid, I'll ignore it, or something like that. The next question says, for someone who wants to change their wardrobe because their previous clothes no longer fit them properly, which, would you suggest buying new items, and once you purchase that new item, give the old item away, or keep the old item just in case? Um, I am a hoarder. Well, I was a hoarder, um, and so when I changed my wardrobe, like, you, if you go back to my very first video on View Now, you can tell, like, there's a huge difference between my fashion and style now and what it was. But I was a real hoarder, so I was like, I need to keep this because I might, I might wear it, I might wear it. Um, 
But when you're moving to a new style or a new place in your life, you want to definitely keep the past at a minimum. So I go through and I picked out things that I know for a fact that I would wear. So if they were like jeans or something like that, um, I carried those with me. But everything else, I literally have bags and bags of stuff that I gave away. And then at one point, I gave everything in my closet away and just started new. Um, and so I, if, I suggest that you start new. If you're on a budget, I would kind of trickle as you bring the things in, you take something out. The next question says, um, how do you balance being a full-time student with continue to grow your channel? Um, and I think I did a video about this. <laughs> Maybe, I can't remember. I remember talking about it. But it is difficult trying to put all of your energy in YouTube, which is what I used to do over the summer, and putting all your energy in school, which is what I have to do now. Um, but what I do is I prioritize. I'm not the best at, I'm getting hot. I'm not the best at planning and prioritizing all the time. So, I mean, sometimes they overlap. But I usually, what I've been doing is I usually will take a Saturday or a Sunday and film videos and edit them and pre, like, film and pre-edit and so I can upload it throughout the week. Or if I don't have a lot of ideas, I'll film, edit, and upload, like, on a Sunday or a Saturday or something like that. Um, and that just gives me time during the week to either rest or if I don't feel like it, you know, I don't have to rush and put up a video. Um, but I like to record at least two to three videos, what I used to do during the school year, and I'm pretty sure that's when I talked about it. I would record two to three videos, um, plus my blog, my blog throughout the week, but I would record two to three videos on a Saturday, upload them throughout the week, plus I vlogged, uh, and so that way you guys were getting content through the week and I wasn't, like, struggling to find time to record or anything like that. So it is a struggle, but when you have a passion for something and you're doing something, you always have to prioritize. And in my last video, the tips on how to be successful in school, I always say get a planner and plan it out. You guys, I have literally every video idea written out in my planner on today so I can record and edit and kind of sift through. The next question says, where do you get your fashion inspiration? Also, I love your videos very much. Thank you. Um, my fashion inspiration comes from, who is my fashion inspiration? I get a lot of inspiration from Instagram, like just scrolling, scrolling through the in Discover page. Um, I don't know. Next question says, how do you budget for your fashion? And I'm going to do a whole video about fashion on a budget and then another video about um, cheap outfits. Um, so that'll be coming, but I literally, I'll get into it more in that video, but I really, um, you have to budget, and you have to be smart with your money, and you have to plan. The next question says, who inspires you, and what's your favorite picture from my Instagram? <laughs> um, who inspires me? Um, I'm inspired by my parents, I'm inspired by, um, Beyonce, I'm inspired by people I'm 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 generally I'm inspired by people who are doing things that are better than me um, or doing things a little bit better than me or are doing things more efficient or doing you know doing their own thing individual individuals uniqueness the next question says how do you afford so many fashionable clothing any tips again there'll be a video before this saying fashion on a budget but I do budget my money and I have I used to have multiple sources of income so that's how the next question says, do you own a MacBook? Yes, I do own a MacBook Pro, 13 inches. And what laptop would I suggest for starting school with or college with? Um, I would suggest, for me, I'm an Apple person, so I will suggest a MacBook Pro or an Air, probably a Pro. I mean, an Air works too, but a Pro. Um, just because I like Apple products and yeah. Oh, and the last and final question, mm. the very last and final question, there's more, but I just, like, I can't find them. That's the final question is, where can I find the things that you wear? Pretty much like, where do you shop at, I guess? And the main stores that I shop at are ASOS, Urban Outfitters, and um, H&M Online. Those are the main stores that I shop at. So guys, that is the end of my Q&A. Thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. And if you have any additional questions, you can definitely hit me up on my social media, leave them down below, or Snapchat me your questions. I love to just chat with you guys. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit... In of an insight. I recorded another like questions tag which will probably go up sometime later in a few weeks or something when I don't have anything else to upload. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for even just being interested in asking me questions. 
or even being like concerned with my life. If you like videos like this, again, definitely give them a thumbs up and also make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. It's all free of charge and it really helps me gauge how my subscribers are feeling about me or feeling about the video and lets me know what videos to produce and maybe what videos not so much to do. Um, and so make sure you're checking out the description box for links to social media and links to uh, quotes and stuff. Um, but I think that's it. So I will get out of here and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.